Welcome to Going Back, a collection of bloopers and outtakes from the Nothing Much Happens podcast. I'm your audio engineer, Bob Wittersheim. Now, Catherine Nikolai may indeed create everything you hear on Nothing Much Happens. But she also creates plenty that you do not hear. And that's where I come in. I make sure that everything you hear is only what we want you to hear. Only the things that will help you fall asleep. And so, barking dogs, rumbling stomachs, outside interruptions, and just regular old goofs are all removed by me to ensure you have a relaxing experience. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to go behind the curtain and enjoy some of the more entertaining edits. And so, we proudly present Going Back. Welcome to Season 8. I already feel really squeaky because it is 6.45 in the morning. We're going to try that again. <clears throat> Welcome to Season 8 of Bedtime Stories for Grown-Ups. Now. I'll say that again. Now. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> Like a pubescent boy whose voice is cracking. <clears throat> now, let's settle in. We laid out curving paths. That took me a really long time to say that word. <laughs> I tried again. Paths. <laughs> we laid out curving paths through the grasses and give a sneak peek to the newest park, not to, <laughs> of, <laughs> going back, and give a sneak peek of the newest park in the village. At the bottom of, I felt, feel real gravelly. <laughs> I shouldn't have smoked that second pack. <clears throat> One's reasonable, but two, it's pushing it. Sitting now on a crate behind the bookstore. I'm going to say the word bookstore again. On a crate behind the bookstore. Or at this point, purely from habit. And never mind, unlock... My brain's not quite putting things together in its usual way. <laughs> Sorry, going back. I heard the bell over the front door ring. Another day at the bakery had begun. So before I do the second read, people really feel like in the original bakery story, the baker and the waitress are definitely flirting. <laughs> and Sometimes I just like to put these little, hmm, well, that's an interesting way, an interesting choice. And when I wrote plenty of espresso soaked lady fingers, I was like, oh, sh they're going to lose their minds. <laughs> of course, you're going to feed her lady fingers. <clears throat> going back. And I'd be making loaves. And muffin tins going back. And I'd be making loaves and muffin tins full of sweet dent going back. Wake up. And I'd be making loaves and muffin tins. I pushed the button and tied on my apron and went hunting for my favorite cup while it perked companionably on the counter. I feel like I need to say while the pot perked. It's a long sentence, so I think I'm going to say that. I'll say it again. While the pot perked companionably on the counter and some with swirls of cinnamon and raisin baked inside I think I should say raisins. Again, my brain 
not quite awake. Was this a good idea? <laughs> Going back. I'd make some with sesame seeds. Some with a crust of crunchy salt. And some with swirls of cinnamon and raisins baked inside. The story is that track. To shift your train onto it. What? I wrote this a couple days ago. It doesn't make sense. Hold on. <laughs> the story is that track. And just by listening, you'll shift your mind onto it. A few office doors were open. And I could hear the distant din of co war going back. The dis the distant din of co-workers talking across desks. I'd been in a city square in a little town. I think I said village the first time, going back. I'd been in a city square in a little vid village, in a widow village. In a little village in Italy, in an out of the way corner. I lost my place just going back. Oh, I see it. And I sat down on it for a moment. You're safe. You're done for the day. Whatever you've done, it. It's enough. And I'll be keeping watch so you can let go. I'm going to go back and say that line. I feel like whatever you've done sounds a little ominous. <laughs> <clears throat> and the realization that there was no graduating. I'm going to say that again. And the realization that there was no graduating. It reminded me of being 20 in my first car, singing at the top of my lungs along winding country roads. Just conscious of my graveliness. I don't, I didn't record in the morning to avoid the sleepiness, <laughs> but apparently by the end of the day, I sound like I've been smoking a pack. <clears throat> But the cloudy day had been cooler from the start. <clears throat> Sorry, I thought I'd pause that. I usually don't make you listen to me clo <laughs> clear my throat and drink water. And while I can't send you exact coordinates, I can offer you a few more places where you may be able to find your way into the streets and shops and gardens. Going back, I think I want to say a few more ways instead of a few more places. So I'm just going to say, um, I'll just go back. I can offer you a few more ways to find your way in. No, because way that way repeats. Bob, I'm clearly so well prepared for tonight's recording. I guess uh, I'll stick with how I wrote it originally. There's probably a reason I wrote it that way. 